This is my attempt to make art out of 12 Rubik's Cubes. Spoiler alert, it's terrible. But when people use hundreds or even thousands of these cubes, they can make some pretty amazing pictures. The only problem is I can't solve a Rubik's Cube to save my life. And there's no way I'm learning to solve thousands of these cubes by hand. So I figured, why not build a robot to do it for me? Let's do it. So here's my idea. I'm gonna start by taking a picture and breaking it into individual pixels. Then I'm gonna map those pixels onto Rubik's Cube faces, basically turning each cube into a little tile of color. Next, I'm gonna need a robot that can actually solve each cube so that the sides match those exact colors. And finally, I'm gonna build a frame to hold all of the cubes together and display the finished image. It's gonna be like a massive pixel art mural. I think I got the idea figured out, but let's see how far I can actually take this. After a bit of searching, I found this website that's literally called bestsiteever.net. It's a bold name, but it kind of lives up to it. You can upload any image, tell it how many cubes you want, and it creates a mosaic. So after finding this out, I did what any normal person would do and ordered 2,500 mini Rubik's cubes straight from China. I went with mini cubes because smaller cubes equal better resolution. The only trade-off is these are probably gonna be really cheap and annoying to work with, but I'm gonna let future me deal with that. <laughs> Go. I got him. <laughs> now, before I could build anything, I needed to understand what movements it takes to solve a cube. And the good news is, you don't need six motors grabbing every face. You only need three moves. X for flipping the cube, Y for rotating it left or right, and D for twisting the bottom layer. By combining just these three movements, you can twist any face which means you can solve the entire cube with a surprisingly simple mechanism. If you look online, most cube solvers you find are built for speed, like world record speed, but that doesn't work for me. If I'm gonna be solving hundreds of these cubes, I need something where I can just drop in a cube, press go, and then pull it out when it's done. I started by building the two easiest moves, X and Y. Y was simple. I just printed out a base and put it on a stepper motor so that the cube could rotate. For X, I made this little slot where a servo arm swings through and flips the cube. And honestly, it works surprisingly well. I even added this high-tech hinge so it could reset itself for the next flip. Next, I needed the D move, which means locking the top two layers while the bottom turns. My first attempt was this little servo that rotates a box down over the cube. And yeah, this did not work at all. So I redesigned it using two linear servos, one on each side, and a lift that would lower a square frame to grab the cube. And this actually worked really well. The only problem was it was not reliable enough. And if the cube slips even a little bit, the whole solve falls apart. So I ended up scrapping the whole thing and just started over. The final design is much simpler. It just uses two servos pushing from the opposite sides to flip the cube and also hold it steady for the D move. It's smaller, uses fewer parts, and finally, it actually works this time. Now that I finally got the robot squared away, it's time to build the frame for the actual artwork. I 3D printed a bunch of seven by seven cube trays. Each one holds 49 cubes. I printed 15 of these arranged in a three by five grid. And that alone took weeks and way too much filament. Once they were done, I measured everything and went to Home Depot to grab a half inch sheet of plywood. They cut it to the exact right size in store, which made my life a lot easier. 
Back home, I screwed all the trays into the board and it actually looked pretty good. Like a giant pixel canvas ready to go. Then I added a custom floating frame around the edge to clean everything up and make it look like real wall art. At this point, the robot works, the frame is ready, and then I find out something unbelievably annoying. The red and the orange stickers on these Alibaba cubes are swapped. I mean, come on. And it's completely random. Some are and some aren't. This is such an annoying thing because everything I've built so far relies on a normal cube. So yeah, I snapped a little bit. Now that that's out of my system, let's actually build this thing. I built seven identical cube solvers. Each one has two servos for flipping the cube, a stepper motor underneath, and its own microcontroller. In total, that's 14 servos, seven steppers, and a whole bunch of 3D printed parts. I mounted all seven solvers on top of this aluminum extrusion frame and stacked all the electronics underneath. Each solver is powered by its own Raspberry Pi Pico, which controls the motors independently. Then I plugged all seven Picos into one big USB hub. This is so my computer can talk to every robot at once. To control all seven robots, I built a simple GUI that sends solve moves to each one. Using the Mosaic website from earlier, I load the colors it generates into the GUI, and it automatically converts those colors into moves for my robot. The GUI can talk to each robot individually or all of them at once. And remember those swapped red and orange cubes from earlier? The GUI fixes that automatically now. It remaps everything before the robot gets the moves. I also added a recovery feature. If I need to break down the mosaic or reset a cube, the robots can reverse every move they've already made. All right, solvers built, GUI works. Now let's finally make some art. And that wraps up the build. Let me know in the comments what artwork you'd want to see next. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.